In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about the structured query language, SQL. SQL is the language used to communicate with MySQL, the database server. Actually, SQL is the universal language that's used to communicate with any SQL based server. So we're talking MySQL, of course, Microsoft SQL Server. Oracle, and so on. So once you've learned SQL for MySQL, you have learned it, or at least the basics anyway, for many other similar relational databases. As I explained in a previous video, the SQL language is actually fairly easy to learn. It was designed this way because they wanted to create a language for non-programmers. They wanted a language that was uh, easy to pick up so that ordinary office people could use it to do simple database operations. That being said, if you get into some advanced stuff, it requires uh, a little bit more understanding, of course. But for uh, our purposes, in terms of learning enough SQL to be able to use it with PHP, we won't need to get into any of the esoteric, the more advanced SQL stuff, especially in the beginning. And I would even say that for most of us in our PHP work, you won't have to touch on those advanced MySQL or SQL commands and code, if you will. To practice our SQL and to learn it, we're going to use PHP MindMin again. And here I have it here. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up the database that we created earlier. So I'll, uh, I, we called it killer and we have one table and we have the table people. And if we look at the table structure by clicking on the structure button here, you see that this is a uh, fairly simple table since we have only two fields, name and ID. So essentially since the ID field, as we discussed in a previous video, is a auto increment field, which means that MySQL server itself will actually be adding numbers for us. We know it's a number because an int, right? This is a unique ID that identifies records in the table. Again, this is something I discussed in a previous video. What we need to do is just pay attention to really this name field for us. Well, for a lot of our operations, you'll see what I mean once we get into it. So we've checked out the structure. So we know we got the name field here. So we go to browse and you can see actually MySQL is firing off uh, a little uh, query here. Well, PHP my name, min is anyhow. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the SQL tab and in the SQL tab, we're going to be able to type in some commands as we see here's a command and uh, we'll be able to take it from there. SQL has four basic commands, and here they are. You have insert, select, update, delete. With these four basic commands, you'll be able to do a heck of a lot to the MySQL database in terms of inserting data into the database, selecting data from the database, that's pulling it out, updating records that you already have in the database, and deleting records from the database. Now, some of these have, uh, well, several of these commands have sub options. We're going to explore some of them here, but our main goal is just to get enough SQL under our belts so that we can move into using PHP to speak with MySQL. To be clear, when I say we're going to use PHP to speak to MySQL, PHP will basically be used to fire off these commands. We'll be writing these SQL commands inside of our PHP scripts so that uh, then PHP will be able to fire those off to the SQL server, well, MySQL server, and we can get things done.